their live experience. You may ask why we John Morrison. Uh, I finished our story off stream, I guess you can say, and uh, yeah. It is what it is, and now I'm John Marston, so I just figured I might as well end eight on stream since I started on stream. A little background, we are uh, a ranch hand under the name of Jim Milton. We have Abigail. Hey! Jack's all grown up. Hey, how's it going? It's going okay. That's good. Okay, sir. Morning. Nice morning. You doing okay? Lots of work to do, but I'm all right. Great. Thanks, John. Abby wants us to change. She wants a better life. So I'm going to give it to her. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Let's get going. Right, and we don't have anything of Arthur's things. We have fourteen dollars to our fucking name and I did some research though. Apparently we get some money later on, uh, when Abigail goes back because we left some money back in the last hideout, the last Settlement, I guess we can call it. So we're not really going to do much until we get to twenty thousand. So I'm going to say this. Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more. A mare about to foal, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get on. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been the sum of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all. Huh? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, business. Oh. Uh, okay then. I believe All he's right. speaking on prostitutes. You'll be just at the end there. I'm not too sure. I better get two. Thanks, kid. So long we father this dude, child. I mean, play dad for this man. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Whoa! None of that. Need a hand with that horse? No. What? Yeah, you do. You <laughs> look sure legit. That? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. You done? Calm down. Come on. <clears throat> That's your I know our dad had a beautiful okay. horse, but she, uh, okay, he died, unfortunately. There, boy. It's a sad moment. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, it's okay. Someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? Oh, calm down. He likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Okay. I'll wait in the corral. Come 
Alright, we're gonna get a new horse as soon as we get some money, because the horse we got now is not. You got some the same. Show me then. Well, not the same, but uh, I would say the beauty is not on par with the uh, artist's horse. Come on! And it doesn't that have big as much stamina, and it's not that fast. So, oh, this is beautiful. Everything you got, come on! Oh. Whoa, wait a second. Okay. Let's see. Is this my horse? No, it's not. No, 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 it's not. This is a door bed. I had Arabian. Same color, his name was Dante. for you. Okay. Get on up there. Go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. My heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll- Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. Of course, you can You just worry about Stop Jeremiah there. Yeah, but, but- Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Have some confidence. What's his name? Duncan, have some confidence. You, Mr. Milton? Oh, shit. I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. I just seen you out so, you know much about birthing? Ooh, okay. Not too much. Oh my God. Where does <laughs> my husband find men horse. like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go uh, on. Uh, whatever you say, ma'am. These horses be coming out like ponies. These are big as hell. Okay. Got him. Okay, now hold on. Fine. You're not normal. 
Like human babies be big, but these are ponies coming out of this. It's happening. These are babies. Okay, out. well, I think she's. Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Get your hand off my shoulder. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but wife. my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, Time to we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm I'm busy. Uh, too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. I'm just curious what that looks like. I guess I can't see. Since her husband cheated on her, she wants to cheat on her husband with me, I suppose. Oh, these are shit bulls. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's go speak with my wife. Let's speak with Abigail. John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. For Arthur. Arthur wanted you to have a new been? life. Don't disrespect his memory. R.P. Arthur. Been kind of withdrawn. Quiet. Where this nigga in the world, no. Arthur Morgan? Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. I ain't gonna hit you. Round to the left. What do you see? A pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where yeah, would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But... Maybe that stream. Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh huh. Don't confident. act confident. Be yep. confident. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. Now how about you speed up a mic? Okay. Go 
even quicker. If you say so, sir. Yeah. We should get back. You think you're ready for a little race? I guess. All right. We go back to the path and up to the ranch. Okay. On my go. Go! I'm sad I can blow this nigga out the water, but... Yeah, he needs a bit of little confidence. Like a jockey. Last straight. Come on. Let's blow him out real quick. Well ridden, son. You won. This time. Whoa. But we both rode hard. And you're riding? It's gotten a lot better. Thanks. Hey. You keep practicing your riding. Sure. What the f <laughs> oh, I get it. I said I want. I understand. Hey. Mm. I'll get the coffee home. <laughs> I'm not in the mood for you. I'm headed to work today myself, Jack. <laughs> I'm, I'm not trip. in the mood for you. I'm tired. I told you. I need that one. <laughs> See, I'm tired. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Get the place to tidy. Okay, Pa. I'll see you later. Three dollars, we get three dollars a day. Which isn't too bad, we get a living. We get free living, we get free food, so. So that's a pretty good deal. Not free, oh yeah, I think it's free food. I'm not too sure myself, to be honest. Hey, Milton. Can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. Can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. So free, that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. 
Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. Yep. There's plenty more to do. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Now, lift up the other side. They gotta line up, see? Now the next rail. Okay. Good. Doing all right. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. Yeah, we are building fences. I got other matters to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. I don't gotta count shit. I wanna be on my shit. I'm gonna be on. I'm gonna take my time and do the work diligently. <laughs> Working. Give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Slap him. Come on, move! Oh, shit. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck? You're gonna wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. Go. Ah, fuck. Come on, let's talk. You're an angry one. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. Whoa there. Whoa there. Easy, easy. There, there. There. Rocket trunks vibrating. All better? Okay. <laughs> now come on, you hunk of Chuck. This way. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. Yeah. 
shit is called old habits. That can only mean one thing. You want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. Oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How fancy parents get is paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. So he had some problems with vermin. Oh, Talk to him, to John. This. Talk to him. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, get him, get him. He's a stupid. I shouldn't beat his ass. Get your ass up. They didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Oh, Cutting your forehead and getting them. I'm going to smell my cow dung, boys. Oh, he's licking you, boy. You done? I'm done with you. I don't care about you no more. You need to tear him on. Get off that man. Get off he hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Watch your mouth. Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. <laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. Yeah, I could just let him walk away. I didn't have to fight him. But in that situation, you know, he's shooting a gun at my fellow rancher, and it seems like, you know. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. That's Dutch. hear any of it not in front of the men you toad all right smile smile do not embarrass me mr. Milton I should like to have a word with you mr. Geddes hey I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys yeah there was an incident well, I mean to scare me are you scared a little I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. It's Mr. Pearson. John Marston. You're such a pig. <laughs> <laughs> All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? <laughs> nigga John out. Uh, you know doing? what it is. I go say some niggas. I had some shots. I'm up. I'm up and at him. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Oh shit. Damn. Oh, they 
John Doe. Bitch. 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 You're that bitch. tough guy they just took on. And I heard about you. I lost my wind. That all? Oh, okay, this nigga got some hands. Got your mouth. They've killed Mr. Tolbert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks he can scare me out of here. Well, I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim, I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your 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 name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Man, it's me. Nah, nah. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. God, I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, he still keep the pieces day. nearby. Getty's been real good to us. We, I. What are you doing? You see with the guns on that bed. Abigail. Yeah. Goddamn job. Yeah, well, you know, Abigail doesn't approve of that, which is understandable. You know, it's kind of fuck what you don't. I stop my pistol. Nah, I guess I don't. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of him. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess yeah. this isn't the necessarily smartest thing to do. You know how it is. Take it really of Abigail right now, but let's go handle fucking business. Off your horses here. We'll be better on foot. Lead these niggas, John. Lead these niggas. No, I know so. I've done That's this before. Place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. Hey, shots on me. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom, you head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. <sighs> Feels good to be back. Do I want to kill him with my pistols? Shotgun. Any money, money, mo. Catch a tag of pistol. If you want to let go, my mother says to That's fine, and you are it. Hey! Hey! You boys been coming up to Pronghorn. I thought I'd come down here. You know, we're dealing with the best sharpshooter in the West. That's a
got this. You boys take cattle. See you back there, son. I met John had a lot of pent up anger. You know, it's good to get her out. <sighs> Alright, let's go handle business. Let's walk up real slow. We don't need to rush it. Kill the shotgun. Hey, hey, <laughs> no, you're in here. I assume we have the top. Pants taking, shoveling, backwoods, sacker, no good, trash. There we go. Your ass was born. I gave you some mercy because my wife is around. I shan't around no more. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Take that shot, you on. What the fuck? Hit him again. You know that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. Watch your mouth. Watch your mouth. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she bathes first and sheet dip, get the stink. Artist hat. Okay, I'm still rocking artist hat. Dang, you can get the best out of niggas, you know how it is. I must put them. Mm I should have shot that on purpose instead of, you know, just knocking them out. Hey, you're back. You did real well, Mr. Yeah, Mill. I don't even think I'm the best. This man can really world. fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, <laughs> I didn't do nothing. That worked nothing. Yeah. You. Oh, you. <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about. Abe, just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What? What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Sound treatment. Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. 
That's all I'm saying. Thought they they burned this town and refurbished the area pretty quickly. How you getting on? Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is. Well, no. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was... I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been has been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just... Feels hopeless. Mm. I'm doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in. Your name? My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the... Real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. I must have some lot in there. Nice getting out of the house, huh? I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night? With those men, did you kill them? I did what I had to do. To protect you. Ma said it was for pride or something? Ma was wrong about that. I just have blonde in their family because his son Here. is. You want to take the reins a little? His son is blonde. I, I don't know, Pa. Uh, it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then pull to one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out. Pa!
for now. Again, strawberry, again. Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I'll leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted in that. Oh, 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 not trying to kill nobody. Well, I can't drive any faster unless you want me to kill all right. me. Here we are. You all right, son? Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to name my name uh, Jim Milton Jim Milton hmm <laughs> nope nothing here uh, maybe try Marston John Marston it's a long story okay John Marston Marston my name loud as fuck no nope. niggas not. nothing here for that name either Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. And I will help you out. I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here, let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Uh, it's uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay, let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, got a couple of dudes blowing my Here, cover. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Yeah. We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh... I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store or the saloon or anywhere? We're going back, okay, boy? But I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving and watch the road. Yes, sir. Too young, you, you understand Jesus. that we gotta do some shit. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Turning and picking their head when they say John Marston. If I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. All right, speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Kia! I want to get out here as fast as we can, but I know he can't handle these new this, but... Pick up the pace a bit. Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving. Question for the fourth wall. Question for us. What's wrong, Pa? Nothing. Give him a switch. Oh, shit. I 
don't want to fight niggas. Not with my son. Yet. Master, please. Is somebody back there? Just keep driving. Don't want to kill me. I But pull your reins, man. Well, I don't like driving across here. Ah. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. He'll be all right. Yeah, I don't want to kill nobody. Huh? What? Son. Nothing. Just keep going. Guess I have no choice. Fuck me. Close your eyes. Okay. What? What's wrong? Don't look around. Oh, Pop. Hey. Those men. Are they? I just said, us? don't look around. Stay, Stay calm. calm. See that fallen tree? I'm gonna handle there. it. Stop the wagon. Jump down. And hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on! Quick! Now! Okay, son. You wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. I right, go handle some business. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Marson? You sure look like him. Don't want to kill you, niggas. I got my son. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm just here with my son. Did you kill a fella out in Roanoke a few months back? No. Wasn't me. That was my brother. I'm real sorry, friend, but... Oh, you just... He's trying to rob me. You're talking bullshit, mister! Kill him! Do I have to kill him? No, I don't have to, do I? This is the end! <sighs> <sighs> Mm. I don't have to kill him. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep your mind him up a little bit. I have to kill Let's him. Let's go. I didn't kill him. We good. Come on. Yeah. I killed that one guy because I didn't know. Reprimand? No, that's that's dumb. You were real brave back there. Real brave. You did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. Hmm. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Well, I guess he's seeing dead people, so he's kind of freaking out. I get it. So you kill a couple. Of 
Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. I'll tell you, mother. Go say hi to your mother. How was the? Word. <laughs> what happened? Yeah, it's, I don't, we got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then we... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son. Yeah, no. <laughs> it was your dress that caused all the problems. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there, in, near the house. There is? OK. Thanks, Abe. What do you think you want? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. There most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. That's a minute away, though. That's a pretty long distance to travel. But, I guess, it's for the gang. For the old gang. Abigail! Oh, she's... Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son. And I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. I ain't this a motherfucker. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. 
Why you ask me? What's going on? You I married that Mr. Shit Dickens? In. No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. What the fuck you not. Shit. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Why are you telling her that much? Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it. <sighs> so where was John when she was packing her bags? That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you. Turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Built the whole fence around the whole property line. That's... You know what that is. I'm on a mission. Let me just take a minute and admire that. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Is your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Yeah, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife... My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be my pleasure. 
Take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. Sweet. Just joking, son. Just Bet make you sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. You'll get her back. Time for me to change. Uh, time for John to change. Gotta get the guns. See, I like the other outfit better with the, the black jacket. It looked like it was suede. Or... Kind of like that. I like how he was rocking that. I guess this is his outfit and his. Okay, I do have all my weapons. My pistol. Love that. The mops. Song, a little, little tune. I like that. But nah, Sadie can wait. Let me go get it for long. I've been living too fast, and I've been living too long. It's a man of cruel, cruel world. I'm gone. This big old world sure got me running around. Said just settle down, and with the moonlight as my guide, and with this feeling deep inside, I know now that I am homeward bound. Cruel, cruel world, must I go home? Cruel, cruel world, I'm moving on. I've been living too fast. What is that? Switch 
shine on my god. Down to the back later um, beforehand. Hey, hey, the trees were plenty full. They came and shut all this shit down. It used to be a forest. <laughs> now it's not a forest no more. I like that about this game. You can see the environment change over time. It's real. It's real life. It's actually happening. Come on, lady. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, but uh, I, I know what I'm saying. Josh, my daughter. up to speed with my challenges. Only one I completed was the hunter. So I can get the cool ass. It was the it was the outfit. It was a uh, uh, I gotta go to the trapper. It was you know it was a good outfit. Only issue was I didn't have the iguana gloves which I can actually now go and get in New Austin. So, we might do that, but again, that's for later on when we get some money. Right now, we're at 22 dollars. So, we're just gonna play the story a little bit, advance a little farther. Rachel. It's not a bad horse. It's not a bad horse. Well, that's just the well nature thing, I guess. Okay, so here it is. I can't even afford this horse. This color is weird. It's all it's all put in. It's like uh she kinda got some purple in her, but it's it's it says like if you're painting and you Put and you mix purple with white, and then you added some brown. That's kind of the color she has, or he. Is it she or he? Was it he? She got a dick. Yeah, he has thousand two hundred. I yeah, got money for that. Morning. Morning. So what's up with 
talk to Rachel for now. Uh, Annie, there's a trapper here. No, there's not no trapper. Ooh, there's no trapper here. Uh, do I want to travel all the way to St. Denise? Oh, there's a trapper right there. Keep that in mind. Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch, Beecher's Hope. <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. I mean, if you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork. Copy that. Only problem with Rachel is she got no stamina. That is kind of sucky, but she's fast as hell. And my head says what it does, so you know what that means. We'll do one last mission. Um, go check out uh, my property. And that's super close to Blackwater. Has anyone seen an Englishman called Gavin? <laughs> <laughs> looking for Gavin. Howdy, mister. I'm, I'm my friend. I'm Gavin. For Gavin. Gavin? Has he been gone long? Uh, yeah. A few years. A few bloody years. <laughs> I can't, um, I can't remember what he looks like. <laughs> I'm looking Man, for him. Crazy. But I don't know who he is. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah. Me too. Me too. I've wasted my life. Okay. I've wasted my life. Looking. I looked. And I never saw. Alright, don't follow me. Nothing. <laughs> Good luck. Well, backstory for those that see. Back when I was Arthur, he was also looking. There's no gunsmith in this fucking town. He was also looking for his friend. We never did manage to find him. We never did manage to find him. Damn, aren't that like 10 
thousand dollars. Help you, friend? Get off my fucking land. Don't play that shit. You trespass, I can shoot on sight. I'm in my legal bounds. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. I wonder what name he's going to sign. Mm-hmm. Even read the financial now agreements you decide. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations, you are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. They just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> just joking. You joke a lot. I appreciate the loan. All right, let's fix up this house. Well, it is you. Well, I never, I, I oh thought you was God. dead, this boy. Nigga, uncle. Dead. Uncle? The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> Not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. No, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. He at least. <laughs> I always just say he at least. He was looking for the free ride. Evidently. Have a little pity, will you? You see, John come huh? down a new man. Come on, man. Larry. He got the bread. He got a place. He want the free ride, but you know. Follow me. He means well at heart, but still. That's what he is. I ain't trying to talk to you, really. Actually, no, I don't want to hear what you saying. West! West! Oh, no, you a man of few words. I can't. 
can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I sing. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Spending all your money? Called oh, on a ranch in the armpit of West Elizabeth. Oh, my lord. <laughs> Not that that's any of your concern, but... I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. Yeah, you can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No. She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but, you know, this makes me think maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. And you're lucky I'm showing it to you and not looking for a place to bury you out here. I found a rape in this hard brown. This is it. Like a, Look at it. A chocolate brown, you know. A charmel. Okay. Caramel. Like a leather What do you brown. think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tail. Enough of that. <laughs> what I Get tell you? What I way. tell you? No, you're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you, John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, Bye. you think I'm an idiot? No, I know you're an idiot. Buckle the real one. He's gonna help me out. So shout out, go. Sixty-five dollars can get you this. It only costs four hundred and sixty-five dollars. Just some property this big? Not now, but man, back then. That's, that sounds like a deal. Yeah, just. Let me see if I can equip my other shit. Well, how about this, eh? How about it? Oh, all damn, what's us three left at the end? I heard Sadie might still be alive. Sadie? How'd you hear that? She sent me a message. She sent me a telegram? Said she's in Valentine. Sadie sent you a telegram and you ain't paid a visit on her? What's wrong with you, man? I got shit to do. It's been a long time. Oh, time. Sadie wants to see you. You go see her. John Marston, really? Shame on you. What? You speaking like it's Arthur? Arthur? No, it was... I guess I gotta do. Okay, which? Where do I sleep? Excuse me. Oh, okay, I guess I don't have clothes. Alright, well, that's it. Uh, it's been real. I'll catch y'all next time. If there is a next time. <sighs> this is John Marston. Uh, next time we'll probably... Yeah, I think we'll talk to Sadie because we still need to progress. And then... 
we can go to New Austin and um, get some uh, iguana skin, perfect iguana skin, three star. I think we need a Berman rifle for that. Also, probably buy some bullets for my pistol. Other than that, yeah, that's all. Do I have Arthur's knife? Oh, this is Arthur's knife. Yeah, okay. I, I like Arthur's knife. Arthur's pistol. Alright, so yeah, it's been real. Let me see that game. I think that's Arthur. Yeah, that's still Arthur. Good thing I saved the other part too, just in case I want to come back to Arthur. Oh yeah, that's when I was hunting the panther. That's not too far off from the rest of the story. <laughs> 